I am Michael Dolsten. I lead research and development here at Pfizer. We are in a period of great scientific progress. It's like a scientific renaissance. And it seems to me that there is a convergence of progress in understanding of the human genome, in precision medicine that allows us to target unique patient subgroups, and how we design medicines of vaccines with very sophisticated, precise properties. Pfizer is present in six therapeutic areas. Each of them have significant unmet medical need, and that includes oncology, immunology, inflammation, vaccines, rare disease, cardiometabolic, and neuroscience. Our R&D strategy relies on three main pillars. The first one is to deliver a pipeline of high-value medicines and vaccines. It relies on focusing on more disruptive science that can lead to breakthrough therapies that we can accelerate in clinical development. The second one is innovate new technical capabilities. It's a lot of focus on being the leader in designing small molecules, large molecules, vaccines that have unique properties to address the targets we're working on. And the third pillar is about shaping the innovation ecosystem to bring together unique capabilities that we have together with biotech companies, academia, patient foundation, venture capital groups. I think we made a lot of progress with our pipeline. What has been really great to see over the last five to six years has been how we've been able to move projects across the pipeline. And we have successfully started more than 25 phase three studies. We have had beyond 15 drugs approved, including 10 NME. And some of these are really the first in class drugs that make a huge difference I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for 25 years. And I think this is really the time period where we can dream about landmark discoveries. And that means that while it's important to add weeks and months for benefit for patients, it's really within our reach to think about years, decades, and cures. And that's what's so exciting at this particular time and what I think should be the goal for the next 10 years.